Last month, New York's Museum of Natural History announced that it's removing a statue of President Theodore Roosevelt that many find objectionable. It's a decision that has the full support of Mark Roosevelt, president of St. John's College in Santa Fe, New Mexico, and the great-grandson of Theodore Roosevelt. The subjugation of other races by those of us of European origin is our nation's original sin. That sin began soon after our arrival on this continent and has been a tragic part of our history to this day. If we wish to live in harmony and equality with people of other races, we should not maintain paternalistic statues that depict Native Americans and African Americans in subordinate roles. The statue of my great-grandfather, Theodore Roosevelt, in front of New York's Museum of Natural History does so, and it is good that it is being taken down. When some argue that we should not erase our past and that such statues can be invitations to examine and civilly discuss complex issues, that is disingenuous. That is what books and classrooms are for, not monuments. Monuments are designed to honor people and to keep those honorees and what they stood for alive in our collective memory. We are all of us in this country, bound together by the tragedy of racial subjugation and continuing violence and multiple other affronts to black Americans and other people of color. Those of us with power and influence who say we wish to do better are diminished by our stalled, failed, and woefully insufficient attempts to actually do so. Those with power and influence who will not even acknowledge these wrongs are an embarrassment to the nation. If we wish to allow for historical nuance, and I do, to continue to recognize Washington and Jefferson and Theodore Roosevelt for their very real accomplishments, while also allowing that they, like so many of us, were complicit in our nation's original and ongoing sin. We must start by admitting that we have failed to acknowledge the depth of that sin and immediately remove all memorials and statues honoring those who fought a civil war or otherwise worked to perpetuate that sin. And then we should get on with the desperately needed work of uprooting systemic racism wherever it is found.